Hey guys, welcome to another Stratification Saturday video. This week, you guys decided you wanted me to talk about what are the one, two, and three bars of the strat and what do they mean. And once you know what they mean, then you can use the strat combo sheet to plan your trades around these setups. Okay. So, let's get into the indicator. So, the indicator that I'm using on uh, TradingView is this one. This is Candle Type the Strat by Crinklebein. The thing is, the indicator is not so important. What is important is that you know what the 1, 2, and 3 mean. First things first, there is only three things that can happen from one candle to the next. When we are talking about the candles, we are always talking about the way it looks compared to its previous candle. So it's kind of like reading. So we're going left to right and labeling it that way. All right, so a one is an inside candle, which means this candle, the whole candle, wick to wick, is completely inside the range of its previous candle. When you see a one, that means it's consolidation, it's a tightening range on a smaller time frame. We do not want to trade things when they are a one. So when this day opens, Unless you break the high or low of this day, you really don't want to be trading a one because you're just going to get chopped up because it hasn't picked its direction. Then I like to talk about threes next because threes are the opposite of a one. Threes take out both sides of the previous range. So... Here's the lines. So here's the previous candle. So a three takes out the top side of the previous candle and the bottom side of the previous candle. Most commonly, threes occur after ones because the range is usually so small in a one. Little fun fact for you. Okay, so we know that a one is an inside bar, a two is an outside bar, or some people like to call them engulfing bars. Twos are directional bars, so we don't refer to them in color. So a lot of people get that confused. We only care about the direction. So this candle here broke the previous candle's low. So this would be considered a two down. Okay. Then this candle would be considered a two up because it broke the previous's candles high. The color of the two doesn't matter. It is the direction. We care about the direction. So let's look at Bitcoin right here. This is a beautiful example. So we have a two up and we know that a two up is directional. So we would want it to be green, but it's not. So this two up means that it's in conflict. We broke the previous day's high, but we couldn't go anywhere. And the bears stepped in and started selling it down. If you go to the strat combo sheet, okay, you see right here on the far right side of the screen, there is a 2-2 reversal bullish and a 2-2 reversal bearish. So when we go back to this Bitcoin chart in a second, we're going to be looking at the 2-2 reversal bearish, but notice how this candle is green. Who cares? It's a 2 up, okay? So the trade is to enter when this candle opens and takes out the previous candle's low. I'm, I don't think you guys can see my mouse when I'm on this image, so that kind of sucks. Okay, so here's the trade. So we have a two up. So the short entry is when this candle opens and we break the previous day's low, our targets are this, this, and this. Obviously, they will keep going down. 
So this and this would be the next targets. And look, do you see that we took out this pivot here and not quite this one? So maybe we need some corrective activity first. And also using this strategy, these are all twos and we know what reversals look like. So we have had no reversal against us because we have a two down, a two down, a two down, a two down. So we have a very strong trend right here because you don't have a higher high on the daily yet. They might get it today. So if you were in this trade and using the strat signals, you would have been in it since 39.5 and right now your stop would be here at 36.4. Or if you do what I preach and take profit at your target, you would have actually taken profit at 34. So another two, almost two grand instead of having your stop up here. Or you could take half profit and then put the other half stop up here. Let's look at Bitcoin on the monthly, actually, just for fun. So this was a two down month. And then when this candle opened and took out the previous month's high, that's the strat entry to go long. It's a two, two reversal. Then you've had higher lows. You've had two ups the whole time. Here, 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 here. Okay. And knowing what we know, and I just showed you on the daily time frame, this is the same setup. So it's a two up, and this is the monthly. The M is monthly. So it's a two up, but it's red. So if you were long, and if you were hodling from down here, based on the monthly chart and the strat signals alone, you would have wanted to get out of your long at 4,700. And then all these higher lows, then on the way down, become our targets. Something else that's really interesting is the time of the flip on the three month chart. If you don't know what the flip is, I've made a video about it. Okay. Now, the thing about threes, so outside bars, these things, is they always start as a directional two. So, <clears throat> for instance, Bitcoin opened and went two up. But once it started coming back through and changing continuity from green to red, that's a bad sign. And the thing about threes is they are failed twos. And we all know I have a 50% rule. So once the next bar has retraced 50% or more of its previous candle, it then has the possibility of becoming an outside bar. And why do we care about that? We care about that because we know that we know what our target is. For this three month chart to become an outside bar, your target is gonna be 27,734. Bitcoin has about 11 days left in this candle to do it. So it's definitely possible. Okay, we're gonna go back to the daily time frame. Do you guys see this broadening formation right here? So we have a low and a new low, and then we had a high, and now then we got a new high. So if this stays in this pattern, your target is going to be that, and then 30,000 psychological, basically. Okay, but anyway. So threes. Why are threes interesting? Threes are interesting because... They are a broadening formation on a smaller time frame. So what you want to do is connect the previous candles high to the top of the three and the previous candles low to the bottom of the three. And then you want to go down to a smaller time frame. 
so you can see the broadening formation. And for some reason, the daily and hourly chart don't quite compute, so you're, you might have to move your lines. But there it is. So that's why threes are really interesting on a larger time frame, because like I said, go down to a smaller time frame, you're going to see a broadening formation. The bottom of the broadening formation trend line has been holding, okay? But the thing about broadening formations, they don't stay broadening formations and in this pattern forever. They expand. So that's what's cool about threes. Once you know what all the numbers mean, then you can go and put this sheet to work. So you know what an inside bar is. And this sheet shows you exactly your entry, exactly your target. So if you don't use trading view, it's totally okay. You don't have, like I said, you don't have to have the numbers on your chart. The numbers being there are not important. The fact that you know what you're looking for is what's important. So let's practice. Let's take the numbers off of our chart. And this is how you're going to learn. You're going to go, you're going to look at a plain chart, and you're going to label them. So this candle broke the previous candle's low. So just do it like this and practice it. So this is a two down. The next candle broke the previous candle's high only. So it's a two up. This broke the previous candle's high. It's a two up a two up, a two up. This didn't take out the high or the low, so this is an inside bar, so that's a one. <clears throat> this took out the bottom of the previous candle, so this is a two down. This is completely inside this candle, so that's a one, a two up. So here you go, here's a two, one, two reversal. So you have a, a two down, an inside bar. So per the strat combo sheet, you enter here, your target is here and here. Was that a successful trade? Yes, it was. Okay, so just do that. Look at a chart without any indicators on it and practice the candles. It's no different than studying. And once you learn these, you'll get really fast. And it's looking like we're going to become an outside week on Bitcoin, except how much time is left in it. Two days. I bet it can do it. That would be the target. And then, like I said, 30,000 30, psychological. Okay, I think that's it. Short and sweet. Have a good weekend. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate you. See you next time.